Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Marcus, I am the Weirdo with the Beardo, and this is my video all about frames per second, slow motion, and a little bit of shutter speed. Here we go. Woo! Okay, so firstly, before we get too far into it, um, you need to understand that there's a few different options that you can choose from. There's a phase alternating line, or PAL, which shoots at 25 frames per second, and that is used in areas such as Australia, uh, Western Europe, China, places like that. You also have CCAM, which also shoots at 25 frames per second. You have NTSC, which stands for National Television System Committee. I'm so glad they shortened that down to NTSC. Um, that one shoots at 30 FPS, and that's used primarily in places like Northern America. I think it does go down into a little bit of South America, but I'm not entirely sure. I think it's mostly North America. And then you have 24 frames per second, which is used for film, and that is pretty much all of your options there. So what is frames per second or FPS? Well, essentially it is what it says on the tin. A frame is an image um, from the film. So if you're shooting at 25 FPS, then you've got 25 still images every single second. If you're shooting at 30 FPS, then you've got 30 still images every single second and so on and so forth. So that's frames per second. Very, very simple. I hope you understood that. I hope I made it simple to understand. Something else that people do sometimes get confused about is the P and the I next to the numbers. So you may have seen this, you may have seen 25p and 50i or 30p and 60i. If you do and you're not entirely sure what that is, then I'm going to tell you right now. Um, basically, P stands for progressive and I stands for interlaced. Let's talk about interlaced first. So, depending on the resolution that you're shooting, um, if you're shooting the full HD, you've got 1080 or 1080 pixels by 1920, 1920 horizontal. Um, so depending on the resolution that, you, uh, that you're shooting at, you'll have a set number of odd lines and a set number of even lines. And these are called fields. You've got an odd field and an even field. And every single frame of every single second, you have, in interlace only, you have um, the odd and the even. So every frame, odd, even, odd, even. And it goes like that. So that's basically what it looks like. You've got the, the marrying up just like that. Very technical stuff, this. <laughs> so that is interlaced. You have an odd field and an even field. So that's why it's double the frame rate number, if that makes sense. So 25p, 50i, 50 interlaced is saying 50 because you've got an odd field and an even field. So that's two and obviously double 25 is 50. <laughs> There we go, that's that. So progressive is essentially just a still image. It's boom, 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 over and over again. So you'll have 25 still images every single second, which goes back to what I said earlier. So that's why it says 25p. 50i, don't get that confused with 50p. 50i is interlaced and that is still shooting at 25 frames per second. It's not shooting at 50 frames per second and it's not gonna give you slow motion, so don't think that. So what do you do if you do wanna shoot at slow motion? Well, ideally you do wanna shoot double or triple or quadruple, whatever it is, the frame rate. So if you're shooting power, you're shooting 25 FPS, then double that is 50, but it's not, going back to what I just said, it's not 50i, it will be 50p or 50 frames per second. That will then give you your half speed, which means that you'll be able to stretch it out in your editing timeline to make it slow motion. Obviously, if you want it even slower, if you want to slow it down by 25%, for example, then in PAL, you'll shoot at 100 frames per second because 25 times four is 100. So that's how you get that. And then obviously, when it gets to the edit, you can then slow it right down to a quarter of the original speed, which is amazing. But that again is P, that's progressive. It isn't interlaced. Make sure you know the difference between the two. And I want to touch very, very briefly on shutter speed. Now, I will be doing a full video on this uh, separately in a, in a little while. Um, but very, very briefly, a lot of people also get confused with that. They think that if they're going to shoot at 100 shutter speed, um, then that's going to slow the image down as well. Shutter speed has nothing whatsoever to do with the speed of the of the footage um, that is all to do with the frames per second so it doesn't matter if you're shooting at a thousand shutter speed and you're only shooting at 25 fps all that's going to do is make it a sharper image I'll, again i'll go into shutter speed in a completely different video um, it's too lengthy for this one but yeah so if you're not entirely sure what to do with the shutter speed what to set it as essentially general rule of thumb is you double whatever the frame rate is. So if you're shooting 25 frames per second, then the shutter speed should be set to 50. If you're using shutter angle, then it's just 180 degrees, whatever 
whatever you're shooting, whatever frame rate you're shooting at. But if you're shooting speed, then it's double the frame rate. Again, that is just a general, it's just a guide. You don't have to use it. But all that does is it gives a, a natural, realistic sort of motion blur as, as things wave across the screen. However, if you want a fast packed uh, fight scene or something like that, then probably use a faster shutter speed. If you want really blurry motion blur, if it's a sort of psychedelic shot, then maybe you want to shoot it as a slower shutter speed. But yeah, general rule of thumb, double the frame rate for your shutter speed. And that's it from me for this video, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you did like it. Please pop any comments down below that you'd like to. Also, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you could subscribe and click on that little notification bell to keep up to date with the latest greatest from yours truly. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.